friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and now one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber and then tripan blue 0 0.06 percent dye is applied underneath this air bubble over the anterior lens capsule and then the dye is washed out with BSS the dye is washed out for about 10 seconds and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea also for better visibility and now capsulorexis is to be done uh, uterator forceps is being used to do capsulorexis the intercapsule is punctured a capsular tag is raised the capsular tag is healed with the uterator and with anti-clockwise movement an adequate sized continuous Carvilinear capsulorexis is performed. And now hydro dissection is to be done. Fluid wave is passed just under the anterior capsular rim and then the nucleus is mobilized. Some more visco is applied. And now the FACO needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. And now let us observe the submarine job technique. After aspirating some superficial cortical lens matter, the handpiece is turned, bevel is up towards the cornea, and now the nucleus is pushed little down. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator like a submarine and then it is chopped. Each heminucleus is chopped into two parts. The principle is to place the FECO needle at a deeper plane, hold the nucleus very firmly and then chop it. FECO power used in this case is 65 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury, the machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3. The artesanic energy is in continuous mode. And now during emulsification of the last bit of nucleus, extra care is taken. The FECO power is reduced to 200. FECO, uh, vacuum is reduced to 200. Flow rate is reduced to 28 and ultrasonic power used is 50 percent and this is the management of the last few bits of nucleus and the last bit of nucleus is just drawn out that's it this is submarine chop technique and now this is aspiration of cortical lens matter with the help of a Simcoe cannula. 
when there is only one side port cortical cleanup can also be done with the help of a coaxial irrigation aspiration it can also be done by hybrid technique in this case the sub-incisional cortex could be removed after several attempts and after cortical cleanup a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the antechamber formed by irrigating fluid so this is known as hydro implantation the irrigating probe itself is used to dial the lens and now once this is done with the help of the Simco cannula after hydrating the side port with the help of the Simco cannula the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed a gentle stream of fluid is directed towards the endothelium and see lot of visco was there and all the visco came out and then the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence